اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم اف اللہ دا موسٹ بینیفیشنٹ اینڈ دا موسٹ مرسیفل ویلکم یو آل بوائز ان پاکستان انٹرنیشنل اسکول طائف ورچوئل لرننگ سسٹم سو ایز یو نو دس از اور کلاس سکس سوشل اسٹڈی بک وچ وی آر فالوئنگ سو ایز یو نو بوائز in the previous lecture we learned chapter number 8 so chapter number 8 is continues continue in today's lecture also in this second part we will learn about water logging farming and a farming problem in south asia today's main topics are the water logging and farming problems in south asia So let us start boys learning reading from the page number open all of you boys page number 38 water logging water from many permanent irrigation channels soaks out and makes the soil so wet all year that plants will not grow in it because the roots need air so if uh, in the land where there is a lot of water so there due to the lack of oxygen the plants can not grow in these type of the water lands so due to because of why the plants must need not only the water but it also needs some amount of oxygen also so because of why plants will not grow in it in water in lot of watery areas the government is trying to control water logging by lining the canals with concrete so that the water does not escape but again this is a slow and expensive job so as you know boys for making the concrete canals making the concrete it needs lot of lot of amount of uh, money so here in pakistan there are not so much sources so the work is very very slow and it is an expensive job so we cannot control the water logging like this there are agricultural universities in the punjab and sindh and other institutions in the country that are aware of these problems and are working to find solution to them so lot of workshops are going on in the different universities to control this water logging farming problem in south asia agriculture is a major major occupation in the south asian countries although agricultural production has grown over the years there are there are also some problem faced by these countries the land resources in india are affected by deforestation so you know deforestation means lot of uh, forest are to be cut down and uh, due to this there is a lot of uh, that of there will be a lot of uh, soil erosion soil erosion means the water on the upside due to the lack of forest the soil comes down due to the water or other other major problems the land resources in india are affected by deforestation and deforestation and soil erosion over grazing turns land into desert over grazing is also a problem water resources also need better management especially 
in the larger areas like India and Pakistan. So farming problems in South Asia, now we are talking about the India. India has dairy built irrigated area in the last 40 years, means total area it is to be irrigated in 40 years to nearly 70 million hectares. So India farming or irrigation fields covers 70 million hectares. There are currently 182 major and 312 minor, minor irrigation projects in India with a large population to feed. India needs to manage its resources carefully and is a self-sufficient in grain production. So farming, we are talking about the farming farming pro problems in south asia now we are talking about the farming problem in bangladesh bangladesh is also a mainly an agricultural country we have learned about the agricultural products of uh, bangladesh in the previous chapter the main threat to farming in bangladesh is from natural hazards so you know very well the what are the natural hazards the natural hazards that are the cyclones which destroy crops and flood the coastal areas. There is also tremendous damage to the life and property due to these big disasters, cyclone and flood in coastal areas. Farming problem in Sri Lanka, Nepal and Bhutan. Sri Lanka, Nepal and Bhutan are also depend mainly on the agriculture for their economy these countries produce enough to meet their own food needs maldives however imports most of its grain why do you think does maldives have to import its foods so this is the question for you if you will learn or if you will follow the net so this is the question that maldives however import most of its grain why do you think does the maldives have to import its food so this is the end of reading of our chapter number eight farming problems in Pakistan. So we have learned the different aspects, different areas and different uh, problems like as uh, poor quality animals and seeds, water and fertilizers, salinity and today we learn about the water logging and farming problems in South Asia. So now we are solving the end of chapter questions. So there are four questions are given in our this chapter why do you think the mechanization is important on small farms question number two why is much more fertilizers needed fertilizer needed on farms today sindh is the largest consumer of fertilizer followed by the punjab khyber pakhtunkhwa and balochistan why do you think sindh needs more fertilizers so question number three is for, for your homework or you can follow the net or anything else. So question number three is as a, I am giving you for you homework and uh, it is not also important uh, with the, the, uh, the exam point of view. So we will write the four, three question number, question number one, two and question number four. We will give you its answers. Question number four is what are the three main problems for agriculture that Pakistan faces? So now we are looking for its answers. Question number one, why do you think mechanization is important, impractical on small farms? In small farms, its answer is 
in small farms it is difficult to use machines most of the peasant peasant farmers peasant farmers as you know we have learned also in the previous lectures peasant means small farmers cannot afford to buy tractors and other farming machines so bullocks are used for pluffing and uh, harvesting is uh, done by hand question number 2 why is so much more fertilizers needed on farms today soils naturally contains you know the soil contains many nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus calcium and potassium this maintains the soil fertility so the farmer can continue to grow new nutri nutritious crops and healthy crops farmers turn to fertilizers because these substances contain plant nutrients such as nitrogen phosphorus and potassium question number this is the question number 4 what are the three main problems of agriculture faces in pak in pakistan what are the three main problems for agriculture that faces that pakistan faces so this is actually i haven't written here but this is the question number by mistake lee it is written question number 2 but it is the question number 4 question number 4 if you will see on the previous so this is the question number 4 we have learned in the previous question number 4 look at this what are the three main problems for agriculture that pakistan faces so the question here the question this is the question number 4 it is a, by mistake it is written question number 2 but it is actually a question number 4 what are the three main problems for agriculture that pakistan faces answer is the main problems for agriculture in pakistan are number 1 poor quality of animals and seeds number 2 water problems as you know water loggings and other things and number we have already learned the salinity and water lo logging so these are the this is the question number 4 what are the three main problems for agriculture so here is a little Uh, homework assignment i am giving you so these are few questions which are i am giving you so inshallah you will solve and this is little your homework assignment so dear students this is end of our chapter and thank you very much all and wish you all the best